All right, for borders. Uh, border lets us put decorative borders around any piece of content. Here, I'm still using my H1. I could put uh, borders around my paragraphs, around my H3s. I can put borders around my pictures if I want to. Uh, pictures also have padding and margin. Remember, every object on your page has one of these boxes, and we can set all of these up for anything on your page. So the border is located between the padding and the margin. Uh, we can change a border's color, we can change its style, and we can change its width. And here, I started, because I needed some border to show you padding and margin, I started with a shortcut property that lets us set its style, which was solid in this case, its width, which was thick, and its color, which was black. Okay. But I'm going to show you the individual ways to do this now. So let's start with border style. Border dash style. Let's do none. Okay. None is the default. We can have padding and margin. Again, it's hard to tell the difference between them without seeing the border, but we have some padding and margin set around this H1 now, but we have no border. I turned on solid before, so I'm not going to go back to that. Let me do a different one. Dashed is a border style. I'll save that and hit refresh. And there's a dashed border. Um, double. There are a bunch of them. There's a double. You can see it's two thin double lines around everything. And as a matter of fact, if I can do this properly, I will go and show you on the PowerPoint all the different. We have solid, dashed, there's inset, double, groove, outset, dotted, and ridge. And I'll let you go through and play with those. You can pause this video right now and go through and play with all these different border styles to see what you like. Now, we were setting the borders uh, using just border style, but you can also say border dash top dash style, border dash right dash style, and you can set each one of the borders top, right, bottom, left. Um, you can set all the styles individually if you want. So you can have different things on the top and bottoms and right and left. Um, at some point that probably gets pretty sloppy, but it is possible to do that. Um, border thickness, we can use the keywords thin, medium, and thick. So let's go try that. I'll flip back over to my screen. Let's do border. Uh, border dash width and I can go to thin oh I forgot a semicolon there we go so there's thin even though it says style is double it got changed to thin when I put thin, I put it there. Let's put to uh, medium, which I think is the default, so it should go back to what it was. And let's see what the double border looks like with thick. And there it is with thick. So thin, medium, and thick are our choices. If we don't specify, it's going to use medium. Again, we have options to do border dash top dash width, border dash right dash width, border dash bottom dash width. All those are available. Okay. And then we can also set a color. Uh, border dash color. Red. Now we have a, a double thick red border. We can also do the shortcut that I showed you before. 
and that's just to say border and then we have to put them in the right order double thick red right so that's my shorthand we're doing it all the way around when we do it this way and that changes nothing but I did it with one line let's go solid thin blue and there we have a solid thin blue border All right, in the next video, we're going to look at floating elements. And I'm going to do a small review from the last chapter as well. Something that we looked at, I said wasn't too useful, and we're going to look at that and compare it to what we're going to learn in this chapter.